In chapter 5, we look at these things called functions, and this lesson has a lot of new vocabulary. Um, function is one of them, and a function is a relationship that pairs each input with exactly one output. And in the next lesson, we'll look a little bit more deeper into inputs and outputs. The domain is a set of all possible input values. And remember, input is also the x values. And the range is a set of all possible output values. And output is also the y values. So there's this little function machine thing. And the function is y equals 3x. And you input negative 2. And it does its little machine thing. And the output is negative 6 based on the function. The input is also called the domain. And the output is also called the range. So, so in example one, they want us to find the domain and range. So let's look at the domain. So what x value is this right here? Just the x value is negative 3. So negative 3 is the first number in my domain. What x value is here? Just the x value. It's negative 1. What x value goes here? That's 1. And what x value is this point? That's 3. So all of the x values are being represented by my domain. And I'm going to use these fancy parentheses. You might have seen them on the calculator before. It's kind of like an S, and then you do a backwards S. That's probably better than the one I did above. And that's how you write a set. You don't use parentheses. Do not use the parentheses that we use all the time, right? Don't use these. Practice making the fancy parentheses. Now let's go to the range. The range is all the possible Y values. So what is the Y value of this point? That's negative 2. What's the Y value of this point? That's 0. What's the y value here? 2. And what's the y value here? That's 4. So practice making the fancy parentheses. That's how you write a set. And the only way you're going to get better is by practicing. So don't cheat at it. Now one thing I want to mention is if any of these numbers repeated, we would only write it once. So for example, if 2 showed up twice, I wouldn't write negative 2, 0, 2, 2, 4. I would just write it once. When an equation represents a function, the variable that represents the input values is called the independent variable. because it can be any value in the domain. It's totally independent. The variable that represents the output values is called the dependent variable. Because it depends on what you input. So for example, if I go up to my function machine, the output is the dependent variable because I would only get negative 6 if I plug in negative 2. So this depends on what you plug in. This is independent, meaning you can plug in anything you want. This depends on what you plug in, so that's why this is dependent. The function y equals negative 3x plus 12 gives the amount y of juice remaining in a bottle after you take x gulps. Identify the independent and the dependent variable. So which one depends on the other? Does the fluid ounces determine how many gulps you take or does the number of gulps determine how many fluid ounces are left? Hopefully you're saying that the independent is the gulps also because they say that it's x and x is always the independent variable and the dependent is always the y 
but hopefully you picked it as the fluid ounces. So that's why. The domain is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. What is the range? So the range, I'll go one at a time. Let me get my parenthesis ready. When I plug in 0 in for x, I get 12 out of y. When I plug in 1 for x, I get 9. When I plug in 2, I get 6. When I plug in 3, I get 3. When I plug in 4, I get 0. So the range is 129630. Ideally, that would be in regular numerical order, but it's okay if it's not in order. The table shows the percent in decimal form of the moon that was visible at midnight X days after January 24th. So Y is the percent of the moon, and X is the days after January 24th. Interpret what dates the domain represents. So what does zero represent here? If X is zero, that means zero days after January 24th. So zero means January 24th. What do you think one represents? January 25th. Two represents January 26th. Three represents January 27th. And four represents January 28th. What percent of the moon was visible on January 26th? Well, we just discovered that January 26th was when the domain was 2, so that's 54%. Point 0.54 is 54%. If you have any questions about domain and range, or independent and dependent variables, write them down and ask me when you see me next.